today a lawsuit alleging that Scientology used fraudulent fundraising practices to induce its members to donate millions of dollars got its first public airing in a courtroom. I arrived early with my camera as it was my plan to record as much of the hearing as possible to be able to bring it to you. When I arrived, I learned that the rules in the federal court are that there can be no electronic devices in the building, so there's no computers, no phones, and certainly no cameras. After putting the camera back in the car, I headed up to the courtroom so that I could observe what was going on during the day and report it. U.S. District Judge James D. Whitmore heard four hours of testimony before ruling that two Florida lawyers can continue to represent the Garcias who brought fraud claims against Scientology in January. Rocchio and Luis Garcia contend Scientology fundraisers use deceptive, high-pressure tactics to induce them and other Scientologists to donate millions to church humanitarian efforts and building projects. In particular, the Garcias donated more than $420,000 to the Superpower Building Project in downtown Clearwater and claimed that Scientology deceived members to contribute many millions more than was needed to complete the project. In May, Scientology filed a motion asking Judge Whitmore to remove the Garcias' attorneys, Theodore Babbitt of West Palm Beach and Ronald Wheel of Miami. Scientology alleged that Garcia's attorneys committed an ethical breach by accepting help from former Scientology lawyer Robert Johnson of Tampa and Mike Rinder, former high-ranking Scientology executive. Scientology lawyer F. Wallace Pope of Clearwater questioned Johnson and Rinder, attempting to show they were deeply involved in Scientology legal affairs. But Judge Whitmore disagreed. He said that the Garcia case is wholly distinct from work Johnson did for Scientology between 1982 and 2000. This is not a case of a lawyer changing sides, Whitmore added. Scientology lawyers also failed to show Mike Rinder acted improperly while serving as a paid consultant to Garcia's attorneys. The day ended with Judge Whitmore denying Scientology's request. The best coverage that I've seen, if you want to get more detail on this, is the live blogging by Tony Ortega, which I'll put the link to below this video, and Joe Child's report in the Tampa Bay Times.